actually gonna oh, start that's... recording on my end now. I am recording right. now. Hello, hello. Awesome. So, oh, uh, God, I almost did a ten-minute power hour of asking you, "What are we doing today, Derek?" Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What are we doing today? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. You don't tell me things. You suck. Oh no, I didn't. I. I mean, you didn't even know we were streaming. I just kind of. Uh, messaged you being like if you want to see your friends and family again get into you, this discord call you threatened to send like five pipe bombs to my address i threatened to put your nudes on the jumbotron in Times square oh that was like the least out of all of the threats because i just think that that'd be funny <laughs> you would be on the jumbotron before schlatt <laughs> <laughs> uh keep up the sarcastic comments guys i'm sure most people appreciate it i mean totally <laughs> Oh, someone in my chat just said I'm watching both streams at the same time and feel like a god. I hope, I hope like the latency on Twitch is a little bit different than YouTube, so we're just slightly out of sync audio-wise. Oh, that's gonna be great. <laughs> I, yes. For for anyone who might just be joining, uh, here's an out of context uh, little tidbit. As I read through One Piece, uh, as I get through the various percentages of getting through One Piece, I'm also going to be uh, peeling off my skin bit by bit. So when I, I'm at 10%, so I got 10% of my skin is gone. Um, I'm like peeling Imagine myself like a banana. A Imagine that's like a sub goal where it's like yeah. for a subathon, the skin <laughs> peeling subathon. <laughs> Every every sub, I have to peel off one percent of my skin until I'm just like oh, a no, no, meaty it, man. It last longer, so it has to be like yeah, like a like a fingernail's length of skin. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, dude! So I'm gonna change. Dude, I'm gonna change my uh, my YouTube and Twitch username to Banana Boy. It's like <laughs> I'm all about that peeling lifestyle. <laughs> That that's gonna be the new oh, thing. On, that's gonna be the new thing for Twitch streamers. They're gonna they're gonna be like, dude, have you tried the yeah. peeling meta? <laughs> where, where where you just Paleo peel your saying, you uh, peel your skin off? Into my mind, it's not helpful. <laughs> I'm sorry, Paleo, but but yeah, TDS Dino. Uh, if you want to be a true god, make sure you have both of our streams at full volume so you get the noise pollution. Did uh, did like, you guys did you guys watch the Ludwig peeling subathon? <laughs> because that was metal as fuck. Where he just started, uh, he just peeled off his skin really slowly over the period of like two months. Oh, I just heard the uh, the uh, Mickey Mouse chicken, not Mickey Mouse, the macaroni with the chicken strips noise. So someone gave me a super chat. Uh, Cosmic, I watched your Pokemon Smasher Pass. When is the Scooby-Doo villains in the MLP one? Also, because of that, I am going to do my own Smasher Pass and let my friends judge me. Uh, okay. Maybe later this month, if not September. I mean, September would actually fit the Scooby-Doo one, because September is the, the month Scooby-Doo uh, came out. That one's going to be more incriminating than the Pokemon one ever could be. <laughs> hey, wait. Uh, has anybody ever done a Smasher Pass of, like, Teletubbies? No, but what what would you say the ages of the Teletubbies are? That's that's the question I was gonna follow that up with. How? What are the <laughs> canonical the ages of the Teletubbies? Question. See, I feel like the question should have been in a different order there, Derek. Of like, how old some, do you think the Teletubbies are? Some people are saying that like, aren't they babies? But I don't think they are babies. I think that they're like grown ass like motherfuckers. I mean, don't they live in their own, like, apartment? It's like friends. <laughs> yeah, they're like friends living in an apartment and they have a sentient vacuum cleaner. I mean, look, I think the only smashable one is the vacuum cleaner, so, like... Oh my god, that'd be hot. Yeah, they'll just get tubby custard everywhere. Oh my god. Ah, god. Did you ever have, like, Teletubbies, like, toys? Because you and I are similar ages. Like, uh, toys and, like, uh, the beddings and stuff as a kid. No, I I never had the any of the merchandise. I just, like, looked at... I, I, I just, like, watched it. I don't know why I said looked at Teletubbies. I watched Teletubbies. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? You don't look, at, you don't look at a television show. You watch it. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? I don't know. See, when I was little, when I was, like, a, a little cosmic, uh, I had... I have vivid memory. Like, the main things in my house were, like, Blue's Clues, Teletubbies, and Barney, oh, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. When, I, when I was, like, a toddler. 
but my most vivid memory is that I had a pair of Teletubby footy pajamas with, with a little, like, belly screen kind of thing. And the only reason I remember it is because it was like that crinkly cellophane texture. <laughs> and it just was like the most aggravating thing oh, yeah. to me and I ripped it Hi, open so there was just an if open you and your dad were the last wound in my, no in my pajamas as a kid. To the core yeah. like an apple. Would you do it? Would oh wait. You, uh, would you I, eat your dad wait down I'm getting a donation. Like an apple. Would you? Would you? Oh, would sure. you? What the fuck are... Hi Salty, if you and your dad were the last people on earth and you had no food, would you eat your dad down to the core like an apple? Would you do it? Would you? Would you do it? Would you eat your own dad? Would you down to the... Okay, I'm not even gonna read the rest of that. I uh, know I'm not going to eat my own father. <laughs> what kind of question we got on awkward uh, a couple weeks ago when Lauren was on, you know, Lauren Abbey Roadie, uh, where it was like, would you rather have meat with seeds in it or fruit with bones? And I was trying to make the argument of fruit with bones, and it involved saying that an apple would have a rib cage, <laughs> and <laughs> no one liked that. <laughs> have you ever uh, seen Have you ever seen that movie Oculus? Yes. Where uh, the big thing, like the I big thing from all the trailers is when she bites into the apple and then she looks back at it and it's not an apple, it's a light bulb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but that was so funny to me. And it gets funnier because in the movie, when she bites the apple and looks back and it's the light bulb and she's like, oh my God, I have glass in my mouth. Then she looks back at it again and it's an apple again. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes you seem psychotic. It's great. <laughs> I, had a, I had a friend back in like high school or whatever who, uh, when Oculus came out or and shit, um, they said, you know, I would eat that. Like in reference to the light bulb. And I, I, I've went down a rabbit hole recently of TikToks where it's like, People telling people about food equivalents oh, yeah. of inedible objects. Which he's refusing to like, me hey, have you ever sense. wanted to chew so on the wires of your phone charger, but you can't eat that forbidden for licorice? Shirts. Here's something I'm of a similar texture. Violet. Oh, thank you <laughs> for the donation, stuff? Vanilla Winters. I, <laughs> I appreciate it. I don't know why Twitch isn't letting you give subs. I'm sorry. But I, I appreciate the donation. Very, very poggers. Well, but how much was the donation? 20 bucks. Okay, follow-up question. Can I have twenty dollars? <laughs> <laughs> do, do you want me to share my OBS with you? So like, whenever there's like a fucking pop-up or donation on my end, that like you hear it too, or no? Nah, I, I okay. mean, there's gonna be enough audio coming from the bumper, so. Oh yeah, the yeah, bumper. Which, it, I think, it's I gonna think be we, a lot. I think we, I think we vamp long enough. We turn into a Teletubbies podcast for a minute. Uh. Tubby custard sounds so gross. <laughs> Like, do you ever think about that? What? It sounds gross. It I sounds mean, it disgusting. Does. It just uh, it sounds like just a, a nicer way to talk about fat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yes. It's like, oh <laughs> yeah, baby, I want to well, fill you with my tubby custard. <laughs> no! Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta say, like a teletype, like oh, no, the tubby custard. <laughs> See, what's great is that my PNG tuber makes a perfect like O face, so me going no fits really well with it. Just no. But uh, yes, oh, God, someone just, I just had the thought, like, if someone had a Teletubby themed podcast. It would be the Tubby Castard, <laughs> like instead of Tubby Custard. Oh, I'm I'm writing that down as we speak. <laughs> uh, but yes. So, <laughs> moving on. So, guys, I'm gonna be making videos soon, uh, probably around like next month or something, talking about uh, the history of like Cartoon Network marketing because I thought. I thought that Cartoon Network was just so unique with how they branded themselves with just sharing, like the cartoons all kind of shared a universe of classic with, at the time, modern cartoons. And I feel like there's not been that level of like intermingling with properties since, whether from Cartoon Network or otherwise with like Nick or, uh, Disney, because I think yeah. the closest thing Nick had was like the um, 
like during Christmas time, they would have like those little like Rankin Bass looking uh, stop motion specials. And then Nick also had like the video games like Nicktoons United and stuff. But uh, I just feel like it, 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 the, 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 the multiverse quote unquote aspect of it made, uh, made Cartoon Network so unique. I mean, it basically established like Adult Swim and everything. And then there was, you know, even shit like, uh, like Fusion Fall and, and stuff like that. But the big Fusion thing- Fall was that hype. I, oh, Fusion Fall is so hype. Uh, but the thing that like really started it was the bumpers. And I, I thought I was going to watch them all anyways to research for my video. So I thought my, might as well stream it. And I thought who better to watch it with than someone who also grew up during like similar era than uh, my friend, uh, Salty DK Daniel. That's so weird because I am also making a video uh, with your script uh, about Cartoon Network bumpers, <laughs> and I thought no, no better, <laughs> no better person to have on my stream <laughs> than Cosmic Keyframe. Uh, uh yeah, guys. If you didn't know, um, I'm actually uh, Derek's ghostwriter. He never uh, improvs during his live streams. I have written him scripts to do on the dot. I wrote the JoJo Iceberg video coming soon to coming a theater soon. Near you. Coming soon to a screen near you in the next five years. It's it's it just like the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's a five year plan. Yeah, it's a five it's a five year <laughs> release plan. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, so I have made uh, I compiled a bunch of uh, different bumpers, and the first generation is actually not CN City. Uh, for people who remember or not, uh, before CN City, there was the Powerhouse era of Cartoon Network, which a lot of people remember for like the, thank you for following me on Twitch where I'm not streaming at right now. <laughs> oh, Welcome no. to my world. <laughs> uh, where they, uh, where before it was, um, the city they were working at like a stu an actual like studio no not again <laughs> they're following me on twitch no uh i'm not playing fortnite i'm not on twitch right now uh so i have that so let's get let's get started uh. <laughs> wait uh can you share your oh you are sharing I your screen okay hold on i did uh let me just pop this sucker out oh t t tell me when you have it up Perfectly prepared, y'all. We we totally didn't waste our time vamping about Teletubbies and the unit of measurement of fingernails. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna. I'm getting shit. Fuck. I also thought it was timely to talk about the CN City bumpers because. Uh, the, the studio that made the CN, C CN City bumpers got bought recently by Netflix. Oh, fuck yeah, Netflix City. <laughs> Netflix City. Oh no, I'm getting like a string of people following on following me on Twitch. At least subscribe, you animals. I do stream on Twitch. <laughs> Start a hype train while I'm not there. Why don't you? I've already seen the aftermath of one of those. I had to edit one of those. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just center the screen. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. I just keep I... hearing watch it, watch me swoosh right in over and over again. Watch me swoosh right in. Yeah, I have the Ooh. best uh, sound effects for my uh... notifications. For my sub notification and my donation notification, I, I started using, uh, I don't know if you saw my Barnyard video that I'm, I put out, but the uh, oh yeah sound yes, effect I where did, they go like, I, oh I was, yeah. Yeah, I was I there for your uh, hypothetical stream that you did. So like the, I think you had oh yeah as the, as it, but yeah, my, my notification sounds are swoosh for, for the following then for donations, it used to be the, you know, that weird, creepy laugh that the uh, spooky, spooky space kook would do on Scooby-Doo, like the Whoa! And uh, oh, yeah. my super chat is the ah! from Macaroni and the Chicken Strips. 
now now my donation is dollar dollar bills y'all so it all works out but you have everything Perfect. up yeah i got everything up you could just start all right, playing I'll, I'll mess around with the volume on my end if it's too loud very late to the convo, but Teletubbies It also astonishes me just how good the overlaying of the 2D animation with the 3D environments free. look in these shorts yeah. for the early 2000s. Oh yeah, no, the Teletubbies are... the Teletubbies did make NFTs. Yeah. That's something that we have to come to grips with. <laughs> NF Teletubbies. This is so like, I keep forgetting how bit crushed these were, because well, like yeah. they they aired so long ago. So the only archives we have are like, like shitty 360p MPEG and video. It's so sad because there's so much production value with them. The audio good for you, chat. You all good? Lower the quality, please. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I <laughs> you, you got your wish. But most agree. Oh, I, I saw a, a Jay Wellington wimpy on the wall. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Say balls. I can't take IT anymore. Okay, chat. I'll say balls. Balls. But Yogi Bear. I mean, uh, uh, Boo Boo Bear. <laughs> Fuck. It's 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 famed murderer Boo Boo Bear. Sidekick isn't a dirty word in this business anymore, and I think we owe that in large part to the. I forgot the fact that Shaggy's voice actor used to be Robin's actor too. His career as a star going, and he really only. That's pretty wild. As a sidekick, and there's no shame in that. Look, I ain't supposed to. I'm not a sidekick. I'm a co-star. My name is in the. Birds with teeth look weird. <laughs> I will say the Hanna Barbera characters being animated so fluidly is very weird. It's very off-putting. Oh yeah, the Pulp Fiction parody that like no one in our generation probably realized was Pulp Fiction. It's like this: Cartoon Network's the same in those countries as it is here. <laughs> it's, it like sounds like AI. The Shaggy voice sounds like AI. Well, yeah, because it's just Casey Kasem not trying to be Shaggy. Because most like most radio like personalities have a voice that could probably sound like AI because they have to just be so like smooth talking. Yeah. Yeah, also, my god, how did we go from such flowing animation to C-Lab level with this? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, it, it, this, is a, this is a lot weirder looking compared to the last one. I'm pretty sure this is like, they had like, Photoshop and After Effects for this one, or whatever After Effects was before uh, Adobe bought it. Yeah. Hi. I'm a superhero. That means Aquaman. I have abilities. It's our favorite character, Aquaman. No, actually, it's it's upside down V Man. <laughs> you tell by his belt. Who's the dog in the background? I call that aquatic. There was a dog in the background. I didn't even see him. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I'll go back. There's just a dog behind the the fishbowl. I ride a giant seahorse. I can breathe water, and. Uh, yeah, see, there's just a dog. Oh, yeah, what the? <laughs> there's a dog right there. <laughs> Who let their dog into work? <laughs> I call that aquatic telepathy. <laughs> anyway, Cartoon Network is the best place for cartoons like me because where else is this considered a useful job skill? Cartoon Network. <laughs> the best Cartoon place Network. For cartoons. Very poggers. Hi, Aquaman. <laughs> Hi, Fred. He gets, he gets more, more vacation, vacation than I do. <laughs> Aquaman <laughs> wants to kill Fred. We're dogs who can talk. And as dogs who can talk, we need to talk. Oh, I miss two dogs stupid dogs. To say. <laughs> and what we talking dogs want to say is, Cartoon Network is the best place for cartoons. <laughs> 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 I don't know why, but the looping, barking sound from Dino is really funny to me. Two Stupid Dogs is a really good show. I really like Two Stupid Dogs. 
stupid squirrel. Let's face it, uh, it's weird that I'm a dune buggy that uh, talks. Ooh. And speaking of weird, I'm a shark that walked on his tail fin. I like how this Jabberjaws was just curly from I'm Three Stooges. And I'm mm -hmm. a in a band. Plus I say... I, it was like that weird Hanna-Barbera era where like every cartoon character that they made had to sound like some celebrity. Well, I mean, like, every- to a point, Cartoon most Network. things were just Best impressions place. or parodies. I mean, the Flintstones mm -hmm. is just an animated Honeymooners. Mm -hmm. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> okay, Wait, but can we talk idea. about- can we talk about the absolute disrespect the execs at CN did to Generator Rex? What, it, I mean, besides, like, just not giving them the time of day? I mean, to be fair, kids cartoon networks like screwing over shows is not exactly a new concept, sadly. It's been happening so, for years. Someone in my chat wrote back when Jabberjaw was still he him. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot Jabberjaw, the new iteration is a, is a she girl. her. Yeah. That's pretty cool. The best place for cartoons. I hate the noise this thing makes. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's so upsetting. I also don't know yeah, what the gag I is. I don't know. A lot of these radiate early adult swim energy. There's a space. Is that he man? Uh, no, that's I think like uh, Thundar or something. Corrupted by his own power, can no leader go undated? Hey fellas, looking for a parking space? You can take mine. Now this guy's a true hero. Could have sworn I parked in the water. <laughs> just like speed buggy just watching this whole thing. Now I remember. I flew into work today. Silly me. <coughs> Silly Billy. Oh man, look, there's one. There's one. <laughs> All right, boys. Why wait, why is speed racer car pulling with Scooby Doo? <laughs> Scooby peed in the mystery machine of one too many times. What? Oh! I didn't know there was ever a follow-up to that gag. Baboon! Baboon? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Johnny Bravo. You, I it's imagine so weird. a lot of... Yeah. Oh, no, go ahead. No, I'm just... I know that a lot of these were probably, like, filmed in Georgia, so I'm just imagining them going to, like, the world of Coke and stuff like that and being like, hey, guys, so we're gonna record out here. We're just gonna have a bunch of underage females chasing cartoon characters. <laughs> I, I wish I would I could have been here today for the fucking uh, for the for the filming of this and the explanation they had to give. <laughs> oh, did, did you just see that like uh, Eustace was in like a kung fu pose? <laughs> like he was ready to throw down with a bunch of twelve-year-olds. I, I just noticed there's just some grown men in this crowd too. <laughs> Yeah, look, the, the, like, Eustace is just, like, ready to kick the ass of little girls. Also, why is the mayor so fucking tiny? Oh, yeah, look, <laughs> look how small the mayor is! Look at him he, at the bottom! Holy he's crap, shorter, he's so he's short! He's shorter than Dexter, like... He's, like, yeah. microscopic. What happened to him? He, baby, what? Thanks for the subs, by the way, guys. Thanks, Alex. Likes candy too. I love Cartoon Network. It makes all of my cartoons small. First day. <laughs> Sheep in the big cafeteria. I have never seen this show in my life. Oh my god! I have never watched Sheep what? in the Big City ever. I'm sorry. What was what was what the lunch? <laughs> I'm sorry. His face. I gotta hear what he said. First day. Sheep in the big cafeteria. Stick to your own kind. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Is he racist? <laughs> Check it out, boo boo. Hey, gang. Hi, friend. 
now that he's friends with the Powerpuff Girls, Fred thinks he's too good for us. Get lost, sheep. You're on my seat. This table's reserved. Villains only. Come oh, I know him from Gorillas. Yeah. <laughs> Go sit with the freaks. Freaks? Have you looked in a mirror? <laughs> oh my god. When it comes oh, yeah. right down to it, we're all Just wanted to say thank you for indirectly introducing me to Hojin. Ed House looks so offended. Of content freak, got edited freak. out of it all. Oh! Oh, sorry about that Yu-Gi-Oh! 2003. But you you can find you can find the goods if you look hard enough. It's all this good. Why, I never come here anymore. <laughs> why are all the humans so far so like me, mean to the cartoon you characters? What it's racism. It? A bureaucratic barricade from my very own place of employment. Your ID. Do you have it? I must have left it in my other fur. Now if you will excuse. Nobody gets through without their employee ID. Okay, okay. <laughs> Beat the shit out of him. Kill him. Protected woodland creature. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Bobo. Lovely day. Hey, hey, Bobo. Tell these fellas I'm with you. Sir, I can't let anyone enter <laughs> this Bobo area. Bobo just left him high and dry. ID. Surely you fellas know who I am. Inside private eye. I'm taller than you. Speed buggy. He's a car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I really like that line read. <laughs> you named your kid after me. You named the kid Space Ghost? Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. Cartoon Network, the best place. Was that uh who who voiced Yogi in that? Was that a uh... it, it may have been Jeff. I know hey, Jeff does a lot of the audio there. He's got a recording session. Thanks, big guy. <laughs> I hope Ugg can find it been so long since Ugg done one. <laughs> What's your name again? This show, these Ed? bumpers have a lot of passive yes, aggressive sir. energy. I love Early it. days I walk through place and know everybody name. <laughs> Those days over. Did you hit your head on? No. It just get crowded. <laughs> Put a shirt on, Ugg. Nice tunic. They sell man clothes where you buy that. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Just, I, I love, I love, like, the, the disrespectful work uh, comedy vibes that this You're one gives off. Could you loosen this mic stand? Bravo was in here earlier and he just tightened it. And <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Can you rewind that? Can you rewind that? <laughs> I yeah, love, sure. I love the way he runs out of the room. Ugh, talk about timing. You're just the man we need. I love the smile. Stand. Bravo was in here earlier, and he just. <laughs> that is they the best animation I've seen this year. They obviously like rotoscope someone running out of the room and just. <laughs> oh. oh no, bro! I'm out. That's a wrap. Great work today, Dexter. Hey, Amanda, do you want to do something tonight? Sorry, Dexter, but this evening I plan to spend some quality time with a lovely female specimen, if you know what I mean. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> I need to know who oh, Mandark's going I'm out busy. with. <laughs> I, I mean, like, maybe he's going out with Dee Dee. <laughs> oh. I thought this room was empty. Hey, Dexter. I'm glad you're here. You are? I can't seem to get the viscosity of this emulsion exactly right. Well, I would be happy to help. I like that the studio just has a high school science lab. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your help, Dexter. My pleasure, Miss Velma. And may I tell you... Hey, Velma, you got that formula for my new hair gel yet? Right here, Johnny. Thanks, darling. <laughs> hey, Mop Top, you might want to try some of this yourself. Dinner? Sure, Johnny. Oh yeah, oh. that was that was a thing. There was like running running a uh, lore in these old shorts that da that Velma and Johnny were a couple. Like yeah, not, I was gonna say was, I think because one. the first instance of that that I saw was in the Johnny Bravo Scooby Doo crossover thing that happened, yeah. and I didn't know that they went further with it. I think that I w I was gonna say I was like the moment Johnny showed up, I'm like oh yeah, Velma's gonna simp hard. <laughs> but no, they were just all ready together. <laughs> Yeah. In real life, they're together, but as actors, like they are separate. With not a minute to spare. Oh my God, the super friends just annoying people is my favorite. <laughs> we 
Wait a minute. Something's missing. He's right. We need popcorn and we need it fast. You wait here in this row while I go to the concession stand and come back with popcorn. I love the open narration so much. Wait. I wonder how they directed this person in front of them, just being like, okay, just imagine the most annoying people are behind you. I wish Mandark would go out with you too, Sesame Seeds 12. And those opening credits are rolling and fast. This looks like a job for a 20. Wait a minute. What about drinks? The more I see these, the more and more I'm kind of sad they stopped doing them because these are amazing bumpers. They really are. The keying of like the animation in front of this guy is like really good. Like. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, like, you expect there to be more aliasing and stuff, but it's, like, it's really well done. Like, I want, I want to know what the budget for these things were. Looks like I was going to say, they probably time. stopped that doing them because the budget was just a bit too crazy. I guess you're not here in this row. Wait a minute, something's not right. Thank you for following on Twitch, Fiery Wolf 29. Are you enjoying my Twitch stream? Yeah, they're fucking terrorizing this singular dude. I want to show. This is basically out of Jimmy's head, but with like real cartoon characters, and everyone can see them. And the plane is starting to taxi and fast. And fast. Whenever characters say something followed by "and fast," I lose it. <laughs> we better get out of here and fast. Let's fly commercial. It'll be such fun. <sighs> Perfect. Ah, oh, God, the the actor who's playing that Wonder Twin sounds so familiar. Like I I don't know why it just it sounds like like someone who's voiced in other cartoons. Cartoon Network. They made me check my shield. Keeping good cartoons. <laughs> Good morning, Cartoon Network. Yeah, Flintstone here. Listen, I'm not going to be able to come into work today. I'm a little under the weather. I'm sorry to hear that, Mr. Flintstone. Drink plenty of liquid. <laughs> Will do. Good morning, Cartoon Network. Hello, it's me. I'm on the green. I mean, I'm... Oh, she looks like a sweet today. old lady. Yeah, that's right. The doctor she... said it's... I know yeah. she'll be laughing, but I don't know. She looks nice. Cartoon Network. I want to hang out with her. Hello, please, Cartoon Network. Yeah, she looks Cartoon like a good Network. grandma. Oh, hello, Dexter. Oh, you don't say. This is Space Coast Mother. The Space Coast can't come in today because it's... It's 65. Yeah, programming. We got a problem. I miss Brack. <laughs> now back to a special 24-hour Quickie Koala Marathon on Cartoon Network. <laughs> no, this was me. This was definitely me. I, I really like the concept of if all the cartoons call in sick, there's just one cartoon on the air that day. <laughs> so I, I have a question. Are these like the earliest like Cartoon yes. Network City ads? I was going to say because there's no like city it's them all like working in the same this, building this, together this 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 compilation is actually what preceded cn city because cn city didn't start till 2004 these okay. were these were 1999 and onward okay that's interesting i was gonna say like that uh, hello can you turn on pump five please and uh, where's your bathroom oh can't you read no shirt no shoes no service state law all right i'll get some flip-flops I can't sell you flip flops. No server. So you're saying I can't buy shoes because I don't have shoes? And you, Blue Dog, no pet. Did he just call me a I'm bad? about to get I'm free of Yeah. Are they, yeah. they going to mug him? <clears throat> can I get some service, please, sir? That's hooves. Horse hooves. That's not shoes. These are horseshoes. Hooves. Horseshoes. Hooves. Shoes. And you have to have pets. That sign doesn't say pants. This is a racist. Everybody knows. Well, Did he just call him a racist? <laughs> Can you go back? Wait. Can you go back? I'm, I'm making this louder. Horseshoes. Listen to this. And Listen to Weasel. To that sign doesn't say pants. This is a Outrageous. Oh, no, I thought he said that he is, is so a racist. <laughs> no, not, not this is outrageous. <laughs> oh, racist. 
He is a racist. <laughs> oh my god, no. No. <laughs> this is so upsetting. The boys has ruined Aquaman's fish telepathy for me. Hmm. The cartoon. <laughs> Him just doing the fish telepathy on every dead fish he sees is We're really here to funny. Take control of our anger. Let's start with a little role playing. I'll be you. You be a Powerpuff Girl. Hello, Bubbles. Hello, Mr. Mojo. <laughs> I'm sensing some hostility. Why are you so upset? I go to the Why is she laughing like that? This. Does anyone ask Mojo's permission? No. Does Mojo make any money? No. Powerpuff Girls take everything! There's so much ambition behind these bumpers, like with camera shots and stuff. Like, they did not have to go this hard. Mojo's upset over a keychain. Now he wants to destroy the world. Is that reasonable? Sounds reasonable. Who here wants to destroy the world? This is Twitter. Yeah, no, this is Twitter. What are we here to take control I just noticed his shirt just says relax. No, our emotions, our anger. Somebody so in my chat said that him him wants to fuck the counselor. Little ball and let it go. I, Release your anger. I, d so wait, does the chat member want to fuck the counselor or no, him? No, him, him, the character. Did you hear the news? That hand licker. That I know that was nonsense, but it sounded like slurs. Why do you think they brought me into the show? Because they needed good acting, and I can't even get a freaking scrappy week. I'm very oh very my sick. god. <laughs> oh, hey. 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 October it, is Scooby month. It, it just oh, looks like they month. sat on That's scrappy. You see, they're actually in the washrooms, so theoretically, they all have their cocks out. <laughs> oh yeah, for people who've never seen some of these, uh, I think like a lot of these particular ones were actually from the Latin American Cartoon Network. That was such a good joke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was a great American joke. Cartoon Network has some fantastic uh, bumpers. They also made that one, like, Living with the Osbournes parody using Barney that some people have seen. I think, like, Pan Pizza <laughs> talked about it. Pluto Burger, please. Cartoon Network. <laughs> I know my boyfriend is watching this stream in the other room. I just heard him bust a gut. <laughs> I don't like that face Secret Squirrel has. I... I... I don't- I can't tell you why exactly I felt this way, but I really liked Secret Squirrel when I was growing up. I'm not I sure why, maybe it was like the designs resonated with me or something. Yeah. I- I prefer his designs in Two Stupid Dogs though, I know this is yeah, his yeah. like classic design. I love how- His, his reboot- cartoon. His reboot design in Two Spook- uh, uh, Two Stupid Dogs was two the- the dogs. one that I was like, I really- I really like this aesthetic. Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> I hear Flintstones review didn't go so well. <laughs> well, that figures the guy's a boob. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, back when they used to say boob more liberally. <laughs> Historic putts. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's too much. <laughs> I can't stand that guy. What an idiot. Honey, fellas. Oh, uh, hey, Fred. Hey, Freddy. Why are we going to play some golf? Oh yeah! I genuinely I, love the idea oh, that the characters you are, are just actors and their lives are recorded in the office style. Oh, I agree. Wow. Yeah. Not that joking. I really like the office the style of these. Oh, she makes me sick. You're preaching to the choir, sister. Preach wow. Hands. Whoa. How, how do you make how do you make snagglepuss like <gasps> even more oh, fruity than? Stings. <laughs> All the can we appreciate the little up and down he gave her? Yes. <laughs> like, Ow. Ow, that stings. Look look at the little posture there. Yeah. Kind I of love Snagglepuss. <laughs> I'm sorry. The zooming out the, to Yogi got to me. 
the aesthetic of cartoons in the real world will never get old for me, ever. That's why I love those scenic adult swim bumpers. The best place for cartoons. Oh, is this one Daffy? <laughs> I was gonna say, we didn't see any Looney Tunes yet. Sir, let me oh, there he is, Daffy. There he is. Oh, Joe Alasky, Daffy, too. Great. Tickling practical jokes for all occasions. Is this is this the Daffy voice that you aren't a fan of personally? No, no, no. I don't like Dee Bradley Baker's Daffy. That's the one from Space Jam. I, I, sorry, my voice sometimes just sounds very flat. I do like Joe Alasky's Daffy. Got it. Okay. I was gonna say we were talking about that the other day. Is this McGilla Gorilla? McGilla, Please. right? Or Great Has babe. to be. Or it could be Baboon. <laughs> no, no, we were both wrong. I, I do like this guessing game that we've just created. Um, I'm sorry. I hope did, that there's more. Did, 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 <laughs> did Mojo just get, like, hit a cock flashed at him? Oh, wait, yeah, show, show again, show again. Alpha male, I Mojo Jojo am the. <laughs> I didn't hear him. Go, I, I Mojo am Jojo, Jojo, is that your penis? He gets all the ghouls. Oh my oh god! Oh my god, that is what happened. <laughs> I gotta hear that Alpha. again uninterrupted. It doesn't fail, he gets all the ghouls. Wow. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't advertise Adult Swim at the end of that one. They did that for the water cooler ones. This this nasty. Cartoon fuel. Which one of you gummers has my truck? Stop you yelling, Mr. Bag. I was just fixing to call you. Uh, that's the only fixing getting I, forget, I, like that I always forget like, that Eustace's well, last name is Bag. What was that scream? Just with engine along. Yeah, and it took. Well, let me take the repaint. Son, you come. Yeah, three days to repaint, and he subcontract. Every time I see Eustace now, I can't stop thinking about that like NSFW art. You know what I'm talking about? The one where Eustace has his cock out. No, Derek, I don't know the NSFW of, of Eustace Bags having his cock out. You didn't need to pause it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can you send it to me? I'm not putting it on yes. stream, but I actually react technically you can put it on screen because it is it is censored. You've you've no doubt seen this before. I have sent this to you. No, but set, please send this to me so I can see it. So I'm going to Google it. A uh, stupid dog, you made my dick hard. <laughs> yes, chat, this is worth stopping. Maybe it's while so we're stopping, you can subscribe and, and donate to the stream for great content like to this. Okay, so to find this, uh, you just have to look up stupid dog, you made my dick hard AF. Um... <laughs> Are you asking me to look this up myself? No, 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 no. I'm sending it to you. I'm just saying for those who might want to see it, if you don't put it on screen for whatever reason, but I think it's fine. I put it on screen during my streams, and I haven't gotten in trouble yet. <laughs> That's the best, uh... <laughs> that is the, uh... <laughs> I'll put it on screen for, for my, for my, uh... For my oh viewers. Oh my god! <laughs> This is what Why I'm talking about, guys. Every time I see Eustace, I just see this image. <laughs> Stupid dog! You made my <laughs> dick my hard dick AF. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put this up on stream for like a minute. <laughs> a minute? A full minute? I put it up for no, like 20 I, seconds. I, a second. A se I mean to say a second. Derek, what the fuck? What do you mean, what the fuck? How long have you been watching me now? You stupid you don't expect dog. this shit? It makes me think of the Oni Plays thing where it's like, stupid dog, you're turning me gay. <laughs> I'll just I'll just put this over your PNG tuber. <laughs> yeah. Chrissy Chrissy's chat, I hope that you enjoy. <laughs> I love that image. My my mod Charlie just said, Congratulations, Chrissy, you found a, a co-streamer as cursed as you. 
<laughs> oh no! I I Man. will get worse. I will get worse if you let me give me time. <laughs> Thank you, Sesame <laughs> Seeds Twelve. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Fiery Wolf, for subscribing on Twitch. Five. If somebody donates five more dollars, I'll put him back up on the screen. If someone donates five dollars, I'll kick Derek out of this call. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for subscribing on Twitch, even though I'm not streaming on oh, Twitch. Yeah. Derek, I am paying you to never talk about this ever again. My first sub trade oh, will be not streaming. I'm sorry I, I, about that, Buster Corp, but I just got a bunch of gift subs, so <laughs> <laughs> this is not gonna. This is not the stream for you today. But I'm sorry. What did he do? Five dollars is not enough to silence me. <laughs> oh wait, I want to see if I can find. Oh my god, where's live yeah. Eustace reaction? How do I hey Wizard, you have to donate five dollars to my streamlabs, not to my, not to my Tell super him. chat, because super chat doesn't come up in my donation me. bar. <laughs> I'm pretty then sure I made a photoshop it's gonna be a while. of like no. Eustace. Go Didn't you do it. that for a stream once where you've made a new sensor bar? Just take your time. I did. Don't worry, they can't see you. Wait, if what's I can happening find it. on this bumper? Think back. It's a sunny day in the desert. You're wearing springs on your feet. You're chasing someone. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Have him read the card. I love Number the one, eagle. Read the card, please. That's one of my favorite <laughs> Looney Tunes Number characters. Two, I'll say, I'll say, oh. Number two, read the card. The? Detective. Okay, thank you for the 245 bits the random gamer took. Why did the sensor look like an Among Us character? Shut the yeah. fuck up. No, We're it not... does. That's what I keep thinking. Every time I put it on screen, I'm just like, I'm not going to say it, but I it, it does look like an Among Us character. Dude, Show us the cock. Show us the cock, Derek. I have never seen the oh, uncensored yeah. version of the Eustace image. I've never seen it. I, no, I and... A part of me thinks it doesn't exist. And here's if somebody thing. can find that, send it to me on Twitter, please. Yeah, and here's the thing, Chet. You're going to ask for the uncensored oh, yeah. version, but just like Subway Spyro, you're going to get upset when you see the uncensored version. I'm like and wondering if, like, plus. I'm wondering if it's got like liver spots or if it's like limp or if it's like rock hard and like large. Because that sensor oh, yeah. bar is pretty big. Muriel like, if sees that every night. Muriel sees that every night. I just imagine like the. <laughs> I, I, look how I, big the sensor bar like, is. Oh, thank you, Enigma, for the ten dollars. I didn't have time to mention it that much earlier, but when I brought up Eustace Cock, when <laughs> you paused in silence <laughs> and yeah. took a moment. Eustace again, please. Okay, just, I'm gonna here. Okay, let's get back to the bumpers. Yeah, let's let's get back to the bumpers. Yeah, oh, totally. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Derek. The egg wizard donated five dollars, so I have to kick you from the call now. Bye. Okay. <laughs> well, that's the end of the stream, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> yeah, I'm on my own and not at, and not <laughs> kick you out. Oh, okay. I did the equivalent of me walking out of my own house during a fight instead of kicking you out. <laughs> can, can you stream again? <laughs> yes, Pretty I'm going to stream it. It's okay. okay oh, don't cool. worry. Don't worry, boo. I got you. But <laughs> all right. Number two. Beep, beep, son. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep, son. Oh, yeah. We're I'm happy here. oh yes your alert sound. Why it's is now it so my sad? Sound ever since I watched your video you know, of you playing Barnyard. It's again. also my favorite sound, yeah. I, wow! I love it so much. Sometimes I hate this job. It was Wow, that was just sad. You know he's just gonna go out there and do it again. Oh three, right? It's always three. <laughs> Good night, Sam. What kind of bumper was that? I think you dropped something.
Excuse me. Don't you know that not Just gonna put that on the bottom right of my screen. Is it? Is it? Is it censored, Eustace Cock? It's live Eustace reaction. Captain Planet. And this means what? No. Oh god, this makes me, this reminds me, anytime the Eds are animated by someone who's not, uh, aka Studios, they always look a little bit off. <laughs> At least they still got the wiggling lines. Oh yeah, the line boil. There, I found a bumper that I don't think is in this compilation, but it was from Latin America, and it was that Ed's boiling outline left him and started, like, inhabiting other characters. How about Spitball? That, that... That yeah. that clip of Captain Planet being like uh being hit by the white stuff is really unfortunate with what I have on screen, but yeah. <laughs> oh my favorite of these. Salty Chat has found the image. Oh please send it to me. I'm gonna look at it on Twitter. Scrappy! Yeah, for a while now. Scrappy do this network for years! And thank you, Lizzie, for the three dollars. Wait guys, this isn't the same image, the shading is different. It's a false oh, Eustace cock. My name is Scrappy, and I've been here longer than all of you. Longer I'm gonna crop you, it, of course, you, before you, I show you, it. You, 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 but uh, you. oh, mama. The problem, as I see it, is too many cartoon cartoons. They're the kings. And I queens I love this bumper, but Scott inning Scrappy know, starts to sound like nice. Shaggy Where's near the end, the and it really yeah, gets to me. You yeah. are a genius. How'd you figure that out? Cartoon the best place yeah, for so people are sending me the, the finished me, version of the Eustace Cock image, but I just, like, I, I want to see the original with the flat colors. This is, this is what people are sending me. Look, it looks different than, than the one I have. It's like the same. Yeah, this, it this actually is, might be so, the, like, the shaded version. or something. Yeah, it looks like a redraw. Or yeah, like a re like, like a based off of a sketch because like the same details are all like the exact same. I mean, this is more on model, I guess. Yeah, but like the like the pillow is like a little bit different and stuff. Like, and also there's no like bed in the in this shaded image. Actually, no, there there is a bed. I just had to cut it out because if I if I added more, then you would have oh, seen his okay, penis. Okay, then it's just different colors. But yeah, but how big is his penis in this case? In the uh, shade. It's like a little bit bigger than his hand. Oh, but yeah, it's unfortunate. I, also, I don't like that the the fucking music in this next bumper sounds like the the meme that's been going around on TikTok with people's cats of like it's his birthday. Did 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 it for me, man? Yeah. No, that is the song that's going viral on TikTok. I believe it's a it's a stock music song that a lot of different cartoons use. I wish See, I knew the name of it. I really like this this track. These bumpers just make me just remind me why we're actually lucky to not live in a world of cartoons because shit like this would be every day. That's the music from Jim Partners and Monkey, right? No, it's actually stock music. I've I've heard a bunch of different cartoons use it. It's called Beach Parade. Huh. Yeah, Duck in my chat just said, "Yo, Beach Parade." I love this song. Beach Parade. <laughs> oh, it's copyrighted. Whoops. I'm Oh my god! <laughs> Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Fart compilation. Fart compilation. Fart compilation. Mojo turned into a dog. Bill's turned me back again. Just gonna mute that. <laughs> there we go. San Hanna Barbera Penitentiary, one of the largest and toughest maximum security prisons in all of Burbank. I've never Home seen this. Some of the world's most notorious <laughs> criminals. In 1969, 17 villains were sent to San Hanna Barbera. All of them are masters of disguise. Of the are they forced to stay in their disguises when they're at the penitentiary? <laughs> That's a terrible punishment. And you will do as you are told. 
You are getting sleepy. Very sleepy. You <laughs> are a very sleepy man. You want a book or what? <laughs> I said the Reader's Digest. <laughs> For the Scooby-Doo villain, San Hanna-Barbera represents the end of the line. Due to the harsh living conditions, cramped cells, and iron-fisted discipline, hundreds of escape wow. attempts have been made. What a, what a poignant commentary paper. on Most prison abuse. Yeah, what the... <laughs> None of them ever <laughs> With Scooby-Doo, where are you characters? Left the front gate unlocked, we could walk right out and kiss this dump goodbye. No, that'll never work. It's too easy. What we need is some glow in the dark pain. I am the film projector. Dry ice. Dry ice. It just, uh, why are they all in costume? It's my me question. And boy, <laughs> me and the boys in front of Comic Con. <laughs> oh, hi, Jake. I'm glad you you got your channel back. Yes, these are Cartoon Network bumpers. Hey, Jake. I'm a different person now, and I sorry, uh, sorry, Chad. I'll I'll take down the the Eustace cock life. image, okay? That That'll make you guys happy. Just for now. Later on, I might come back. If I'd only known that 30 years ago. This is but a long bumper. Oh my God! They implied that he was in jail for 30 years. And so oh my God! He's crying. <laughs> This is upsetting. Fortress of concrete and barbed wire. Like, I know that I these guys specifically deserve it, come to terms with but... Crimes against society. Each inmate shackled with the knowledge that they'd probably still be free had it not been for Seriously, just take of off the costumes. <laughs> oh, can you just imagine that the Mystery Inc. crew drive in front of the penitentiary every day just to be like, fuck you. Yeah. Great, now everybody in my chat wants to use this image back. Guys, make up your fucking mind. Cartoon cartoons. Cartoon cartoon cocks. My ability to talk with fish is of no help, Wonder Woman. How do I how do I make a, a poll? Uh it should be on your stream thing, like in your no, I might, I might get TOS'd. I'm not gonna risk it right now. <laughs> what, what putting if I just keep it up, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe later. Not, not for this stream. I think we've had enough uh, concentration of cock so far in this stream right now. This is awesome. I love this stuff. <laughs> this, this one's like really well done too. Oh my god. <laughs> did you see did I see the super chat? What super chat did you send Timekeep? Hey Keyframe, big fan, quick question. What do you think of the Learning with Pibby trailer? I loved Learning with Pibby. I want more of it. In my mouth. In my mouth. Choo choo right choo. Now, I want to consume. I enjoyed that for this bumper they kept the hyper violence of the Powerpuff Girls intact. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ow! Look, I'm just saying- no, chat, don't- don't- don't gaslight wait, me Wait, here. what- was that the boob joke one? Yes, this is the one with the boob joke. Wait, go back, I didn't hear it. But no, chat, chat's gaslighting me for saying I want Pit to- the- the learning with Pibby stuff in my mouth. The glitchy texture when things get infected looks delicious and you cannot tell me otherwise. You girls are developing into quite the superheroes. Someday we'll be as developed as you! <laughs> <laughs> they look- s their- their faces were great in that. <laughs> who okay i need to know who wrote these fucking bumpers i'm pretty these sure are that a so lot good these, i'm pretty sure a lot of these like this era specifically was written by uh casper kelly um who helped like make the like some of the original uh stuff for adult swim because they also yeah. made like night of the living do that one like scooby-doo special that had like uh like gary coleman and Big Bad Voodoo Daddy in it, and the culprit was Jabberjaw, and Jabberjaw just wanted to murder the Mystery Ink Yeah. 
Basically, chat, they made a boob joke. Oh, yeah, this one also has a boob joke in it, too. Well, the date didn't really get off to a great start. This is my ship. I actually get that a lot, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Well, she was good in it. So he takes me to a restaurant. I wish they did, I wish they did more of these, because like, I think this is the only, oh. like, date thing that they did. Th this, this character in the drive-thru is the only character other than like Eddie's brother that ever got a design in the Ed and Eddie style. Double D made me a little uncomfortable. How am I supposed to compete with that? Oh my god, I just got it. Yeah. Tried to kiss me, I guess, but a girl's gotta draw the line with a blue tongue. Jeez. I mean, I was willing to meet him halfway with the mono brow, but you really should get that look. What? Oh yeah, okay, so this one I found right before the stream, and this one's fascinating because uh, a lot of people thought this was a fake bumper for a long time, and then it became lost media and then someone found it. So this was something that officially aired on uh, Cartoon Network. You like cartoons? I got cartoons for sale. Which ones? Outside. Oh yeah, I remember this one being fucked up. Cops, yeah, right? so this is human trafficking. Just joking. Just joking. Say hello to Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Hey. Hi. Uh, hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. You like Judy Jetson? Hey, man. Get out of me. Two for one for Fred and Barney. <laughs> Sorry about that. You like Judy Jetson? <laughs> hey, I got a real clean Huckleberry Hound. That's my passion. You know it. Clear off. Try to get him. Make me an offer. Hey. <laughs> oh my god! The Eddie, the run double D sounds so like visceral. Like, hold on, I gotta play that part again. Hey, the the implications of this are insane. What were they gonna do with the cartoons after purchasing them? I don't know. Oh my god! Hey man, you got Hong Kong food? No. But I could get him here in 20 minutes. Hong Kong Fooey, <laughs> hell yeah! <laughs> Number one super guy. So those were all that I got from the powerhouse era. Okay. Uh, but there is one thing that I had to have separate, and it was uh the so you know the show Survivor, right? Yeah, Survivor. So they had a parody of that called the Stay Longers that they aired at the same time. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let me get this up on VLC. So this was something that they would air between commercials. And I did not know this existed until recently. I'm excited. VLC I don't think I remember up. this. Yeah, hold on. VLC is acting up. <laughs> Thank you for the 499 super chat saying, you know, it's rumored that learning with Pibby got greenlit. There we go. Okay. It's being weird at the two second mark. I don't know why. Yeah, the VLC has been buffering for me a little bit lately, too. And it's it's kind of being weird. I don't know what the deal is. You could always just skip over it. Hold on. I'm just going to try to open up the file again. Green. <laughs> green. 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 Ah, green. Uh, we'll get back to this one. Maybe this this file's just acting weird. But... I like green. I like green. No. Green is my favorite what flavor. I... Come on. Why would I be jealous of a 12-year-old kid? 10-year-old. Why? Oh, I, I, this is one of my favorite bumpers. Uh, let me guess. Because yes. he does have superpowers? I didn't know no. if I should Did put this in with guys? Powerhouse she because this one was actually... No, this one didn't I'm air on American bump, uh, Cartoon superpowers. Network. This was oh. another Latin American that, bumper. She says, I don't Even though it's all in English. Uh, yeah, that's really weird. I actually saw this. I saw this on TV because I think... I was on well, vacation somewhere, and for some reason they had like Latin American, uh, like Cartoon Network on like their mask, their TVs. I think it was, I was on a Don't cruise once. You're in great shape. Also, no the animation's are. very Harry Pottergy hey, hey. on the humans. Excuse yeah. me, I'm just gonna grab my lunch. 
So, you must be the new kid, uh, Ken... Ren... Ben! <laughs> yes! And you must be... Batman! <laughs> Just kidding. Can I have your autograph? You want my autograph? <laughs> <laughs> I love that they yes, got Kevin, because I, I think this Come is Kevin on. Conroy being yes, Batman. Yeah, that, that is Kevin sandwich. Conroy, yeah. Oh, 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 I do! Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Superman? I love classic I Aquaman. They make him such like a dork. Outfit. You... You did. <laughs> <laughs> well, gotta go. It was great meeting you guys. Oh my god! Ben 10 sexist. He didn't say hi to Wonder Woman once. <laughs> Women. Did, did you hear that? Women. His pajamas look like my outfit. I know. And he asked for my autograph. Yeah. And he shared his tuna fish sandwich with me. <laughs> Are you seriously eating tuna? Awkward. Flash is gonna love this. I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> God, that is that has got to be one of the best bumpers I've ever is, seen for Cartoon Network. That is such good writing. Just, that I'm is, so shocked at how amazing these bumpers are writing-wise. Yeah, but now, the moment we've been waiting for, Cartoon Network City from 2004 to 2006. Yeah, this is, this is the good shit. Now, it's weird to think that CN City was only around for two years. Yeah, that's the weird part. They made so many bumpers for it, too. Hello. Hello. Was there ever an explanation as to why they stopped doing the CN City bumpers? Was a, there was just a change in management at the time, and they just wanted to pivot the image. Because And also, right after this was the Yes era, where they would do all those fucking shorts with uh, Fred Fredburger and uh, Cheese with the red background, yeah. which was so fucking dumb. But yeah, a lot of this stuff wasn't ratings based or anything. It really was just a change in management. That sucks. I know, especially since these are so iconic. Isn't, after, after they stopped doing these, did they start with like the noob era or whatever it's called? No, no, the, the things that they had like right after this was like, uh, was like the yes era with the little like oh uh, yeah the yes era you just said but then yeah. then it was like the new era my era kind of stuff nudes oh. was 2008 okay i'm i'm getting my errors mixed up i just, just love how these look like the idea, the idea of making the city like a 3D asset that they could reuse for other stuff was a really good idea. I I have a feeling I I would love to meet the people who work on Gumball because I want to know if anyone who like worked at the studio that did this went on to work on Gumball. I know it's not the same studio, but like similar people. Yeah, I just got a chat that just says, "What if there was something like this for North Korea?" Yeah, I'm what sorry, if? What? Am I right? What the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> like, are, are you applying North Korea as fictional? Like, I, I'm, I'm afraid to inform you, North Korea is very much real. Yeah, what if North Korea did have their own CN City bumpers? That's great, 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 Korea great Twitch City chat bumpers. message. Thanks, guys. Really killing it today. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's gonna live rent free in my head for all the wrong reasons. Like. <laughs> I just. Uh, God. It must have taken. Like, so much framework to be. How to translate so many of these things into, like, 3D models. Oh, yeah. Especially stuff like Dexter, which is so simplistic. I didn't even think about that. I would love to see if someone has, like, the master files for some of these, like, sets. It would be great to have these in high quality. I know that there's some of them that are- that have been released by people in high quality, but I don't know which ones they are. I really hope one of them's the musical number that Laszlo does, because that one was really good. Oh yeah! 
What if South Korea I love the music the in these bumpers. shorts like that. Yeah, yeah, guys, what if South Korea had Cartoon Network bumpers like this? You guys are really off the shits today. Yeah. yeah. It, what would even- what is the joke of these? Like, just this for <laughs> Cartoon? What- what if this place had this? I, like, do you, maybe the North Korea one has some new val validity to it in this st statement. <laughs> no, like, it doesn't. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, That's it's a, just. That is a psychotic thing to say, Chrissy. <laughs> no, it's just saying, like, do you people think that these countries don't have cartoons? I don't know if North Korea makes I was going to say, I'm pretty sure, I, I don't know if North Korea has cartoons. Do <laughs> What does North like, guys? North Koreans ha probably have seen a cartoon in their life before, guys. They're like airing Ed, Ed and Eddie in North Korea, and it's overdubbed to be like, "Yeah, we gotta get those jawbreakers." Also, Kim Jong Un is awesome <laughs> and sexy. <laughs> and sexy. Uh huh. I wish that Kim Jong Un was the ruler of the place where we lived in, undisclosed location four. <laughs> Peach Creek, North Korea. <laughs> North Korea isn't valid, says popular streamer Salty wow! DK Dan. <laughs> Are you gaslighting North Korea right now, Derek's Twitch chat? Yeah. <laughs> so sorry, sorry, uh, somebody, I didn't see what the message was, but somebody's message got caught in the auto mod for saying deep throat uh so don't worry you can now say the 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 word deep and throat together and the auto mod won't catch you so thank you dippy cutie for <laughs> validating that i love that cnc also just had a lot of establishing shorts where it was just the characters living like there's not even really a punchline they're just here yeah i but liked I like the previous ones, but I definitely think that these ones are also really cute, especially because Aww. they're shorter. Shorter leaves some time for commercials. Yeah. <laughs> Shaggy just fucking broke his neck. Dee -dee. Like, maybe nobody's home. I do like these designs for the mystery gang, except I think Fred should have his ascot. Yeah, his weird, like, striped shirt he's got going on. So glad to see Salty finally reviewing the subspace emissary cuisines on stream. I always found the limited 3D to be so charming. Yeah, no, uh, I'm definitely thinking that Mario will definitely show up in one of these soon. <laughs> It's it's just a long-winded Smash Brothers announcement. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got you. Ah, oh, Titan's Tower looks sick in 3D. I, I remember on Twitter someone was actually sharing like a pitch bible that they made for CN City shorts of like how do all these things like go with each other. Question. And it was interesting because it had like totally spies in it and stuff. I have a question. What's your uh, question? The voice of Robin, is that yes. also the voice of Zuko from Avatar? No, uh, the voice of Robin is Scott Beneville. The okay. voice of Zuko is Dante Bosco, who also I was going to say, they Avatar sound Avatar. very similar sometimes. Who, Dante Bosco also did uh, American Dragon Jake Long. I love and, Dante Bosco. And the one, like, nerd in the Goofy movie who's like, Stephanie, talk to me, talk to me, baby. <laughs> Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me, baby. I love that. <laughs> Aww. These are just such a vibe. Oh yeah. What if these bumpers were Like I feel in like you USA? could put lo-fi music over all of these and these would be like <laughs> like mood. No. Don't don't give don't give a Niche YouTube musical artists, any ideas? <laughs> also, Low Sesame five. Sesame Seeds Twelve said, "Hey, what if these bumpers were in the USA? Fucking what if? Am I right?" Oh, I like how creepy these ones are. 
Oh, the courage ones? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I do not like that sound effect. I did not like that sound effect at all. <laughs> it looked first Yahtzee. Oh, that's actually interesting that these weren't in the previous compilation. Um, I forgot, there were like a lot of like Scooby-Doo and Courage the Cowardly Dog bumpers where they would like interact with each other. Oh, and, that's and, cool. Oh yeah, maybe I'll find it on YouTube and I'll play it after this, but there was one where like Shaggy and Scooby just harass Courage the Cowardly Dog, being like, Where are the only cartoons with monsters on this network, bub? And it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> are you I... in the mob? <laughs> These are really cozy bumpers. They really are. I'm waiting for the one where Freddy get feels like uh like the need to do a dick measuring contest with Megas XLR. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm that one. Are they implying that 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 Buttercup reads Sung Su's The <laughs> Art of War? I didn't even think about it. I was like not even looking. I, huh? I don't like that implication. Oh, the a kidnapping just happened. Yeah. Wait. This is environmental storytelling. Thanks, thanks for subscribing, Joe Biden 752. <laughs> Some of these are like legitimately unnerving now. Whoa! Yeah. Huh. Oh, that's cool. So many of these are just like, we're, we just vibing. Off girls. Women. Women. Top text, bottom text. <laughs> I have to wonder, like, with some of these uh, set pieces, like, it's really fun to figure out, like, what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh no! Oh! Oh my god! Great timing. Oh. Uh, no. It's a lot. You see, you know, okay, can you pause for a second? When it comes on screen? Yeah, sure. Okay, pause. This is a lot more mortifying without like the lead into it like the like cat and mouse like cartoons chasing each other and, like oh no i'm stuck in the oven and you start screaming and it's like funny without that context that's just a cat in the oven without, and, and like, its tail goes limp and it's like oh my god no without like the kooky background music either you know like the diddly 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 yeah no it's wah, just wah. this it, is not relaxing this is not relaxing at all <laughs> It's the twitching that gets me, like the... <laughs> yeah. Eustace, how do you oh. feel about this? Okay. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was so upsetting. <laughs> yeah. Y'all should uh, tip me a dollar for having to witness a cat die. See, this is cute. Yeah, I not, like not that. Tom, not Tom, like, dying in an dying. oven. Someone's gonna be like, oh, g a game theory. CN City ARG? Were they- is this purgatory? <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> what? Why is my timing to these, like, so oh, yeah. unfortunately if perfect? Tom dies. Would his eternal soul be trapped in these bumpers? Yeah, no, ARG, Tom dies in the bumpers and his soul is stuck in the bumpers, so they're all haunted. Asa, thanks for the tenor, my man. Harry Potter looking ass. <laughs> I 
love fried oh. cat. Get me some more. I love Duck dog. Dodgers. Stupid dog, get me more fried cat. <laughs> It's not really fried, it's more just like cooked. It's baked cat. It's baked cat. So oh, that sounds so much worse. <laughs> Dio put Tom in the oven, says Voltrex Studios. Was that naked Eustace? What the fuck? Oh, you're obviously new to the stream tonight. Um <laughs> One second, Chrissy. I gotta I got some DoorDash. Can I go grab it? No, it's it's okay. I wanna get some water. So uh Okay. I need to put something on screen while we're walking away. Um, uh, I, I'm not putting naked Eustace on screen again. You're weak. <laughs> oh, I, I sorry. I heard doll. I heard Donnie talk. Uh, Agent Draco, thank you for the dollar. Saying one dollar for watching Tom die live on stream. Uh, well, and well, also, I'll I'll just hop onto my BRB screen. Uh, so oh, I'll have I a video playing while I. Uh, Live leak logo. <laughs> <laughs> Live leak. All right. Yeah. Guys, we'll yeah, be right back. I'm going to grab my DoorDash and Chris is going to get some water. Yeah. Hold on, guys. I'm just going to. There we go. Be right back.
<laughs> All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. I all I did was just put the live leak logo up on on Plank's dead body. Sorry, guys. Uh, I saw somebody in the comments being like, "Dude, half of the video that you put for the." for the break has already played like assuming that that's long i think that that's like six minutes <laughs> i was yeah, gone you, for six minutes guys you, you weren't don't worry you you weren't gone too long i was also just i had your shit. yeah also i i had to take a shit so oh you know what better you shit in the bathroom than than here on stream better to shit in the bathroom than sink in the cum what? I'm what? sorry. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm doing what all internet users do. I regurgitate memes in a familiar yet slightly different format so I can call it my own. Ow, my knee. Oh, fuck. Holy fuck. I'm coming. I'm coming. Lois. Lois. Ah, ah. <laughs> All I can think about is that one audio that you that we watched on call that one night. Oh you, yeah, <laughs> where it was someone where it was NSFW someone's voice acting. Lois audio. Yeah, and like, <laughs> it was someone's original voice acting, but to do Peter Griffin, they just incorporated sounds from the actual show. Yeah, it would be like like the voice actress would be like. Peter, you're so big. And then the, the Peter voice would just be an audio clip from the show and it'd be like, hi, Lois. Ha <laughs> ha. Or like, whatever. <laughs> oh, no, the thing is, is that they would do cock humiliation. Like Lois would constantly talk about how small Peter's dick is. And yeah. it's like, all right, Peter, if you're going to finally do this, let's do this. And then you, his coming sound was him he's the groan. His knee. Yeah, it's, it's when he scrapes his knee and he's like, Ah, that was his coming noise in the video. And then all you heard is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Justice League. Good to rid us of the sin. Oh God. <laughs> Just a little further, fellas. I think they'll be mad when they realize we took it. Don't worry. It's all ours now. They had to commit robbery. Some of these has, have voice acting, finally. A lot of them were just kind of like vibes. All I can imagine is that they just have one of those galaxy yeah, night so light projectors pain, you can get on Amazon. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, he's dead! Are we going through a lot of the shorter ones? Yeah, I think the longer ones are coming up, though. Fred gets me. <laughs> what happened to Fred? <laughs> I think the creeper knocked him out and, and stole, stole his, his clothes. clothes. And his hair, apparently. <laughs> Fred Not got Chrissy, scalped. Chrissy. Chrissy, what? he went full goblin mode. What happened? He went goblin mode. How did I go goblin mode? No, 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 no. He went goblin mode. Oh, he did. He did go goblin mode. I'm not accusing you of that. Oh. I would never. Don't tell me I lost that thing again. Uh, cyborg. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not one of those people who hates Teen Titans Go, but I miss classic Titans. They have different vibes, but I like them both. 
yeah, in different ways. Oh no, are we getting more murder? <laughs> okay. Mm. No. Every time you hint the laundromat, I'm just waiting for Johnny and Samurai Jack's gay scene. It's in the fridge. Yeah. <laughs> I was sorry. Just just uh, got to my apartment and she was asking where where I I Jess! hid her food. Hey hi, Jess, Jess, you want to come say hi? I'm streaming with Chrissy right now. Jess, I love you. Hi. <laughs> Chrissy said, hi, Chrissy. "Jess, I love you." I love Chrissy too. Yay! Um. I'm gonna bring you my dumplings. Yeah, go go eat your dumplings. Like, we got some dumplings. Dumplings? Gas is on the right, Roadhog. <laughs> well, I sure didn't need to see that. All right. That is also my reaction when I see Puffy Amiyumi. <laughs> Courage is scared of Japanese. <laughs> when Courage gets racist. Oh my god! Oh. Five Nights at Freddy's? I- I- Sorry, I just needed to see Francis get, like, dragged. <laughs> Damn! He's dead. Nasty. <laughs> Laszlo's so small. I don't even know why I come here. My fur is dry clean only. The only Juniper Lee thing that we've gotten so far. What is up with those types of dogs and like talking in cartoons? Where it's always like pugs. Yeah, it's and, always like, pugs. Because like pugs Wild were... Grinders had that. Uh, mm -hmm. The it's American Dragon pugs. Jake Long had yeah, that. It's always pugs, bulldogs, or like Chinese uh, wrinkly dogs, basically. It's always the wrinkly ones. Yeah, the wrinkles. Why can't it be like a lab? Are you guys implying that labs are too dumb to speak? <laughs> Why can't we get a talking beagle that's not Brian Griffin? <laughs> <laughs> I love the all the like Easter eggs on these posters though, because I see like there's a Mojo Jojo reward poster. There's I a just see the logo one. of Billy and Mandy at the top. Yeah. yeah. There's Mojo Jojo. There's the Time Police people. Yeah. Oh look, another Juniper Lee. Oh. <laughs> Johnny fucking bodied him. Don't mess with the melon warrior. Finally, some Billy and Mandy representation. I've been waiting. Yes! yes. Saliva! Don't you mean Time Squad? Sorry, I I don't know the name of every cartoon. I didn't watch Time Squad. Yeah, who are who is he? Me? But I do know Billy and Mandy, so. Oh my god. Isn't that the same voice actress? Yes, yes that's the joke. Seen the face of God. I, I love seeing these shorts because I love seeing the conflicting well, art styles. Again, young How's it going, Kaz? Oh, I am fine. <laughs> well, I complete your order. It's weird Let seeing uh, we High High Puffy on the Yumi animated Potatoes. so well. Around, please. Potatoes. 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 Am I right, gamers? <laughs> Oh my god! I want a billboard like this. This is just. <laughs> See you soon. Not wearing your seatbelt. See you soon.
<laughs> oh yeah, no, okay, yeah, Mandy is Grey Griffin. Paleo's okay. right. So is it just because they're similar characters, or is that still the same voice actor? I think it's because they're just similar, like, characters, like goth chicks, quote-unquote. Mm. I mean, I would... Nice work, boy blunder. Mandy's goth Mandy, in personality. Time, I decide what we're doing. Ma Mandy gives off the vibes of, like, a goth kid who, like... Mm -hmm. Who, like, because of the way that their parents want them to dress, like, doesn't, like, dress fully goth yet. Yeah. Yeah, like a pastel goth. I, I like that's that also a correct the, answer. In this, they imply that Daffy owns a real estate agency, and I don't like the idea of Daffy being a landlord. I mean, it's in character, though. It would be. He would be a landlord. It's a lot of hard work. <laughs> Daffy, Daffy, you've been sitting in the same brother. room for the past five days. <laughs> exactly. Somebody has to do it. Didi, no. I thought his head was in a microwave for a second there. <laughs> he got really excited. <laughs> well, speaking of Daffy, isn't this uh, Duck Dodgers? Yeah, this is his. That, that's his ship. Yeah. And voila! I that looked like Quagmire for like a frame. <laughs> In the Wait, reflection. What are you talking about? No, in the reflection, just look. I thought it was Quagmire. I, I started freaking out. Look, look. Doesn't it look oh like God, Quagmire? It kinda, it kinda editor that looks like it. Quagmire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And then I like, swear. Just it, someone enhances it and you just see Quagmire and Brian. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Don't, don't move it yet. I want to get a picture of Quagmire for comparison. Okay. <laughs> no, my chat's agreeing with you. No, li literally, guys, so everybody's I'm agreeing kidding. with me, but I, I need a picture for comparison because I need to prove any naysayers. It, me, I am the naysayer. I mean, look. kinda, I guess. <laughs> no, no, no. You need to look at my stream right now. I'm looking at, no. I'm looking at your stream. Look <laughs> Why at this. are we having this conversation? No, I, I, a little bit, I guess. No, you're you're blind. You're blind. I'm not blind. Maybe you're blind. You're, you're too, blind. Maybe you're too visual. <laughs> you're blind. <Voila. laughs> it uh -oh. accidentally overlaid on, on Shaggy's face. <laughs> <laughs> I really need to get a checkbook. Wow, they're they are just made made cy A lot of these promos have are been cyborg lives of inconvenient life. Ah, uh, yes. Saturdays are made for dads. And dad's new car. And dad's new wife. I was I was gonna say, I, I love her. Stupid for reasons, machine. yes. What do, what do you think about this, uh, <laughs> Eustace? <laughs> I haven't felt anything down there. Miss Bellum was my bisexual awakening. I get it. Wait, I what was it. that? What was that poster? Yeah, I didn't. I didn't get to see that. Single robot seeks same. Is okay. that Robot Jones? Maybe. Here, here's the thing. It could be Robot Jones. It could be Robot Boy. It could be Cyborg. Could be the gay C three PO from Time Squad. That one's very big. Yeah. Oh my god! 
domestic terrorism in CN City. Make a joke? <laughs> and Why you? Video. <laughs> Make a joke? I, I, I'm sorry. I had to go back. I, I, ch to... I literally choked on my food. <laughs> Make a joke? <laughs> <laughs> Look how handsome he looks. I forgot that Cartoon Network used to air uh, Pokemon, so I, I completely, my brain just stopped. I just love this, <laughs> this, this beautiful, this handsomely dressed Pikachu for the times. It's like, Pikachu, how do you feel about, you know, everything that's going on in the world? Uh, you know, Pika, Pikachu. Pika. Uh, Pika, Pika, <laughs> definitely <laughs> Pikachu. Pika. Uh, Pika, yeah, Pika, definitely. I also just noticed that the Flashes one just says, the Flash needs a hug. Yeah. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh, go inside Yugi's home. That's not Yugi, that's Yami! <laughs> Fucking morons! Women are for, from Venus, supermen are from Krypton. Wow. Wile, wily anthropomorphic animal clinic. At least I acknowledge it. Furry real? Meet boys, buy shoes. <laughs> I want to meet boys and buy shoes. I want to buy shoes and meet boys. Ah, the summer bumpers with the concerts. The audio is not too loud, uh, chat, right? I haven't checked in on that in a bit and I've been adjusting it. Fuck on, dude. Oh, I thought he said fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> like, I, I know forgot he about that, that logo, the, like, the eye logo with, like, the butterfly stuff yeah, around it. Sometimes. Yeah. Fuck on, dude. Like, doesn't oh, it- I don't don't you it hear sounds like he's like, saying fuck off. <laughs> oh, yeah. fuck off. I know he's saying rock on, actually, but fuck off. Fuck off, dude. This is my one day off from the kids. Ah, uh, I remember seeing Summer. Especially because they premiered Camp Laszlo at one of them. I can always fetch some more. Don't be creepy. Um, You're a dog. Is the super banana bomb pop made of real bananas? Hey, wait, this is tofu. <laughs> Good. Ooh, oh, Halloween. the Halloween ones. Was this around the time? No, no. That definitely mm -hmm. not. I, w I was about to say if the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy spinoff uh, Under Fist happened, but this is definitely. Oh, no, no. Yeah, Grim that Adventure definitely happened Under after CN. Oh, CN and City. I wonder if this happened in like what? Oh nine? Oh eight? Yeah. Oh, d d that one used to creep me out a lot. Like, wow, this is fine. like there were a lot of the Cartoon Network Halloween bumpers that creeped me out as a kid. I really like the bumpers that pair up two, like, totally random characters. <laughs> like, like, Blue and fucking Dexter don't match at all. It gives me Jimmy Timmy Power Hour kind of things of, like, something very magical and something very scientific. I don't know. I mm. think we look pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> run, Mr. Harriman, run! I'm sorry. I like sorry. that there's little bits of continuity between them. Because, like, Billy's still running after Mr. Harriman. Yeah. I just... Bunny Boy <laughs> Cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have to give him a tip. His fucking mitts that he's wearing. They're so big. I know. <laughs> he's got big grippers. I love these, like, helicopter shots of the town. They're just- these are just so much vibe. Like, I you could've- I love snowy environments like this. 
Yeah, you could just put a VCR and lo-fi filter over this and it'd be perfect. Should I tell him? Nah, it's Christmas. <laughs> Toasty. I saw somebody on TikTok, like, what they did was they took a bunch of like old Cartoon Network bumpers and like DVDs that they owned. They ripped all of them and put them on like a random shuffle and then made like their own TV channel for them to tune into their TV to just like emulate old Cartoon Network. And I thought that was so cool. That is like, great. What a fun idea. They even had like ads and stuff. And I was like, that's fucking cool. <laughs> what a fun idea. What is it called? I have no idea what it's called. I they they did it using OBS of all things. Open broadcast software and they like streamed it to like a private server where they could just watch it. Got a link run, to that? Run. I don't. I'm sure you can find tutorials for stuff like that online. But you have to, like, f of course, have all of the footage to, like, do it. Then that'll take a while to, like, find all that footage. Or at least the footage you give a shit about. I like that a lot of these have, like, kind of like a handy cam vibe. Because, like, sometimes the camera, like, moves a little bit. Hmm. It feels weird to be so nostalgic for these things. Because it doesn't I mean, feel like they're, long they're ago, cute. But... Yeah, they're but really it cute. Does... It doesn't feel long ago, and then I remember we're almost 20 years away from 2004. That's pretty wild to think about. Uh, yeah. Why the hell is Mac 3D? Mac's not 3D, he's 2D like everybody else. He just has like shading. Yeah, they, they, these are all like the the sets are 3D, but everyone else is 2D. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, compositing. Oh, that lighting is gorgeous. They did not have to do this. We yeah, were dumb seriously. baby children. Like, come on. Why, why, why Craig McCracken gotta make Frankie Foster so bad? He was thirsty for it. Here's the thing: all the, the all the good-looking females and a lot of uh, Craig stuff is based off Lauren Faust, right? So it's kind of like how the guy who made One Piece like for everyone like Nami because his wife. Yeah, because he wants his wife to cosplay them. Oh, I hate also, that I did I did Google it. I did Google it just to make sure. I was pretty sure of this, but Frankie is canonically over 20. She's like, I think, 22. She says she's 22 in uh, the, the one episode where Blue gets a, a crush on her. Yeah. Actually, hold up. Can we can we break for a second? Because I have to use the restroom again. Again? Yes. How much, do you, how much shit do you have in you? Uh, a lot of shit. So All just right, give well, me a second. Mute. Don't mute me. I'll talk yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just on. mute. I'll just mute. Yeah, I'll, I can hear your visceral shitting, but they don't have to. Hi, chat. It's me. It's Chrissy. How are you? No, they're not going to. Sucks we don't really get these anymore unless we do. Damn. Hi, Chrissy. Hi. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello, everyone. Thank you for the one bit saying help. Hi, hi, howdy, hi, crispy. Crispy? I'm not crispy rat. I am not a rat, nor a mouse. Hey, Chrissy, what's your Twitch? I'll give you a follow. Uh, let me, I can link you guys my Twitch channel. I need to get the link to my Twitch channel. Because... <laughs> If there's one thing I love that while streaming on YouTube is getting a bunch of notifications for my Twitch. <laughs> I, I don't know how I feel about Gawky saying Irwin is still best girl and right on the clock. 
Say penis, Derek was too much of a bitch to say it. Penis, 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 penis. Swoosh right in the penis. How's the wife? Uh, the wife is good, you know, banging on the floorboards. Help, he keeps us locked in the basement. Well, what did you do? Thoughts on the Camp Laszlo ending? Uh, I really liked it. Chrissy is now better. <laughs> Why? Because I said penis? The basement is dark? Look, just grab a couple sticks. Maybe someone inevitably has died. So you could just pick their bones until they're really dry and use them as sticks. And just make a little fire. Boom. No, no darkness. Chrissy, he won't give us Eustace. I, I, I'm not going to give you Eustace either. So I don't know what you're trying to gain there. I love the characters going at each other at light speed. It's so charming. I mean, I'm very simple. Someone body checking another person is going to get me to laugh every single time. Hey, Chrissy, can you give us a link to Salty's channel? Oh, yeah, sure. Let me go get it. Here, guys, here's Salty's channel. Go, go, go give it a sub. <laughs> Favorite Pokemon? Uh, Espeon. I'm a basic bitch. Oh, yeah! Whoa, this salty guy looks like a pee-pee piss boy. Oh, no, he's a, he is a little pee-pee piss boy. That, that's why he walked away to do a pee-pee piss. Chrissy, avoid the people who are from the basement. They are imported from China and work for the Chinese government. The more they talk, the more information they can have to leave. Oh, <laughs> Thank yeah. you, Super Soup Man. Oh, cool. Thank Corny Dude for the gift subs for Derek. Oh, and Iron Fox. Thank you for giving Derek uh, five gift oh, subs. Yeah. I keep hearing follower notifications on my Twitch, so thank you for the people who's followed. Oh yeah! You guys can also subscribe. I do stream on Twitch from time to time, fairly more often recently. I, I do my chill gaming on Twitch and stuff, and I'm gonna start doing workout streams soon, where like I teach workout classes on oh, yeah. Twitch, um, and I'm gonna be starting that soon, probably like end of this month, beginning of next month. So, you know, you could follow me or subscribe for that. I don't use Facebook. Oh, yeah. Yes, Coach Cause Real. Subscribe for Coach Cause content. Chrissy, my dog multiplied. What do I do? Is this what it's like having Derek's audience? Uh, well, I don't see the problem here. You have more dogs. And that's, that's great. I don't even have one dog. Not gonna lie, Coach Cos was my favorite Pokemon in the front lock. Thank you, Tuesday! Coach Cos was the rainbow dash we didn't deserve. How dare you? Chris say I have overdosed on ketamine. What do I do? Uh, subscribe to my Twitch. <laughs> Sorry, YouTube chat. I, I'm trying to pay attention to both chats at the same time. I was going to be a real dick and be like, oh, you've overdosed on ketamine? Here's a website to help you. And I was going to link my stream labs. <laughs> that would have been so mean. Uh, try Popcat. What do I do when my unexpected gambling addiction makes me broke? Uh... You don't be a wimp and you keep trying, you keep chasing that win, eventually you'll get it. <laughs> uh, 
Chris, uh, sorry, uh, Chrissy, can you please say we are better than YouTube? Uh, subscribe to my Twitch or send me five dollars and I will. Uh, Chrissy, can you get me a boyfriend? Uh, someone be 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 this person's boyfriend. Give them love. Uh, guys, stop asking Chrissy for feet pics. Let me tell you, you could see my feet for free in the darks in the Tomska video where he voices characters that were sent in by fans. There is a picture of my foot that I drew a face on that he voices. So you could just see my tootsies for free. Chrissy, can I have can I have a bean? No. Uh, because if you have a bean, you're gonna fart and it's gonna make an even more unpleasant experience for the people in the basement. Chrissy, I accidentally replaced Salty's bathroom door with a nether portal. What do I do? I mean, get some wood blocks, turn them into planks, and make a new door. Duh. Chrissy, just a total hypothetical. If your dog turns into Derek, what do you use to put Derek down? Bonus question. What if he keeps playing Fortnite on your account? I mean, I'll let him play Fortnite. I'm not going to put him down just because he became, he's Derek. There's two Dereks, two dogs. Great, great, uh, <laughs> great life. You just fell off your chair. Good job. Chrissy, help me get a GF. I'm lonely. Uh, someone, uh, Chrissy commands you to be Shining Gazelle's girlfriend. Everyone is Shining Gazelle's girlfriend now. Um, a girlfriend in label alone doesn't matter uh, your actual uh, gender identity. You're, we only have girlfriend tags in, the, in this little, like, uh, a uh, little button box that I got here, so I'm sorry. Everyone is now a girlfriend. Chrissy, take me out of the Dominican Republic. I'm sorry, I can't. I My arms don't stretch that far. Uh, Chrissy, what's your Twitch again? <laughs> Let me go get my Twitch again. At some point, Twitch is probably going to think I'm spamming in Derek's chat, and I'm not. Chrissy, Chrissy, teach me how to Dougie. Well, first you put your left foot in, and then you put your left foot out, and then you put your left foot in, and you shake it all about. Chrissy, may I have some food? Salty won't feed us. Uh, uh, okay, I'll spit on the floor and wait for it to ferment, and I'm sure someone, some food will come of that. Chrissy more like kissy. Mwah, mwah. Chrissy, I hate you. Ah, uh, you know, you're not the first. I'm back. And you won't be the last. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Sorry about that. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, I was just doing a Q&A on your, on your stream. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> a lot of them were asking to be let out of the basement. No. I gave some, I gave some dating advice. Um told them to, uh, don't, uh, I, I stopped myself from, someone was like, help, I overdosed on ketamine, and I was really tempted to be like, oh, go to this site for help, and it was going to be my stream lab, so I wasn't going to be that big of a thing. <laughs> also, if I missed it, thank you for the gift subs, everybody. Oh, I Iron Fox, thank you. Y'all are fucking poggers. Anyway, let's get back oh, to it. You. Sorry about that. No, it's okay. I, it, it, I'm just giving a moment because a lot of people followed my Twitch in the past bit. So I just keep getting swoosing. Uh, and thank you, Spacey, for the dollar saying I drew funny oven cat. Oh, no, I have to go on Twitter now. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on, I'll link you this. Uh... <laughs> yeah, let me see. Oh, I'll show this off. I'll show this off at the end of the stream, but yeah, we'll fucking oven good. cat. Back to the vibes. Back to the vibes. Yeah, oh yeah, the voice of Juniper Lee is the same person that voices uh, it voices Fink from OKKO. OK yeah. 
I love That's her voice. I used to watch Juniper Lee all the time. I watch Juniper Lee more than I watch the American Dragon. Once you get past the dankness and overwhelming sense of doom, it's really quite lovely here. Of course, the oh yeah. Hmm, Trigoni, thank you for the sub. <laughs> or the Great Waffle, thank you for the gift sub. Wow. Oh, that's a really good 3D render of Juniper's, like, wristband. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm very simple. People falling will just always make me laugh. If I hear one more swoosh, I'm going to... nut. <laughs> You're going to nut? I have no idea what Juniper Lee's about. Uh, it's about a girl, and she fights paranormal creatures. Yeah, like her family is part of a lineage that, uh, like, helps protect the barrier between the mystical realm and the human realm. It was really good. Like, near the end, they actually started to bring up, like, consequences for being part of the family line. Like, Juniper can't leave the town. And all that. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that she can't leave the town. Yeah, like one of the last episodes she was gonna go to like space camp or whatever and it turns out there's like a force field around the town because she's magically linked to be the protector. That's why oh. her grandma is always seen traveling because she was like she was denied the chance to travel the world and stuff when she became like the uh, guardian. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, Juniper Lee's very interesting. People need to give that show a shot. I don't know if they've put it on um, HBO Max or anything yet, but it's really good. I also loved how the characters look in the show. It's a very pleasing art style. I think Camp Lazlo is like my second favorite Cartoon Network show next to Billy and Mandy. Camp Lazlo is great. I love the vibes in in Camp Lazlo because it's just uh, I wouldn't say more grounded, but it, you know it's Rocco. Ro it's the same person who made Rocco, so it's like similar vibes. Somebody asked our thoughts on seeing like Cartoon Network now. Here's the thing. I don't like their scheduling for Cartoon Network right now, but the, some of the cartoons they've made in like the past decade have been really fucking good. I agree. I totally like, agree with everything you just said. Yeah, because a lot of people just kind of disregard Cartoon Network because it airs Teen Titans Go a lot, but Cartoon Network Studios has been making a lot of great cartoons. Like, uh, Victor and Valentino is really great. Uh, Cartoon Network Latin America made Villanos. Uh, Mau Mau is fantastic. Seeing uh, Steven Universe Future was great. Like, there's a lot of good... Craig of the Creek is one of my favorite cartoon cartoons. Yeah, I gotta say, uh, guys, check out Craig of the Creek. It, it, it might not resonate with everybody, but if you vibe with it, you vibe with it hard. It's like it's like, like, it's like a more... It's a more, like, laid-back codename Kids Next Door in a lot of ways. It's basically what Codename, because the whole thing with Codename Kids Next Door is originally it was going to be the fact that these children are playing pretend. Um, yeah. So this is, and Craig of the Creek truly is, oh yeah, at the end of the day, they are just LARPing. Yeah. I think I said to Paul once that it was basically like a nicer looking version of the Rugrats imagination spots that they would have. Yeah. And just the the capture the flag like four part finale was really good. I I really enjoyed that. I keep singing that show's praises. Like These headphones are useless. I can't hear a thing. Thank you, Devin, for the fifteen dollars super chat. Even though I don't understand the enjoy an even nine hundred dollars, we haven't. I have not made nine hundred dollars on this stream. I do not know what you mean. Yeah, all nine thousand hundred dollars that you've just made off of this stream. It's 
weird that the posters that they have for this are the actual Hi Hi Puffy Yumi. Oh yeah. I mean, I, I know guess... that the I know the cartoon had like Puffy Yumi live action segments though, so I shouldn't be surprised. Maybe because they're shown as cartoons in this world and that's considered normal. Maybe that uh, the live action versions are the cartoon versions of the cartoons. They're just realistically drawn. Ah, oh, that would be an interesting thing that a cartoons TV mm -hmm. shows like in the cartoon world are our live action, live action programming, programming. I just can't get into live action shows, you know, they're just not that realistic. Yeah. <laughs> Someone draws like a hyper realistic portrait. Oh, so you like that anime stuff. God, I wish a cartoon would do that now. That's a genius concept. It's like how in Angry Beavers, all the characters on TV are like more realistic than the beavers. Oh, these are the older designs of Billy and Mandy. Yeah, like season one. <laughs> I don't know why Mandy on the couch looks really funny from the front. Yeah. So much for three days. Yo, yeah, look, look at this. <laughs> that is so off model. It's not even crazy. It's not it even looks like funny. She has like Goomba feet. <laughs> yeah. Richard Horvitz is one of my favorite voice actors, hands down. He is amazing. I, I met love him his, vo his voice great. and his range. It's mm -hmm. so weird because he plays so many characters that are all so different, except like you can always tell it's him. But like yeah. when I hear like uh, when I hear Zim, I don't think of Billy. And when I see Billy, I don't think of Zim. You know what I mean? Even yeah. if they sound a little bit similar. It's really like... It's the acting goes over the voice itself. Yeah. And they have like it's little Kevin different Kevin mannerisms. Yeah. Because Kevin Michael Richardson also plays a bunch of characters with the same type of voice, but they're all different characters. Mm hmm. Because when you hear him playing Thanos, you don't hear the principal from American Dad. Wait, Billy and Zim have the same VA? Yeah, Richard Horvitz We're voices open. both Billy from Grim Adventures and Zim from Invader Zim. Yeah. He also plays, uh, if you watch Hell of a Boss, he plays Moxie in that show too. And in Billy and Mandy, he plays both Billy and Billy's dad. And Billy's dad just is his more normal voice. Yeah. And also Raz from Psychonauts. If you're familiar and Dag with that. And in Angry Beavers, which is my yeah, personal Dag and Angry Beavers. Because I love Angry Beavers to death. That's where I left him. <laughs> Grim Vord, Irwin. Haha, <laughs> Irwin. <laughs> Ow! Oh my God! <laughs> Me at one of my con. one of my favorite on running ongoing Billy jokes in Grim Adventures is when his nose is just like a separate part of his body that he could just take off. It just <laughs> like <Yeah>. an apple. <laughs> I like that his scythe is just machine washable. Honestly, that's pretty cool. Oh my god, this is the first my gym partner thing so far. Wow. Getting into some crazy territory. I forget that my gym partner is a monkey was a thing, but I don't remember like hating the show. I actually liked the show when I was younger. Oh no, I remember liking it. It's just that it doesn't stick in my brain as much as like other cartoons. Yeah, I, I can't remember any notable quotes from it. The only episode I really remember is the episode where um, Adam and the monkey hey, kid uh, both get uh, cloned. Mm -hmm. And then the clones I... like grow up really fast because it's like the unstable cloning process. Yeah, 
I think the one I remember the most is the one from the CN, speaking of crossover stuff, the CN Invaded arc, where they had the platypus played by Gilbert Gottfried, and Adam was convinced it was an alien because platypi are weird. <laughs> yeah. Will the following students please report to my office? No already. Save your breath. Adam Lyon and Jake spider -Man. God, I would love another Fusion Fall like video game, but with like assets like this where you just walk around like these yeah. different sets. Like it doesn't even have to be like an end of the world thing. I just want to live in I CN City. This isn't a bird bath, bird brain. <laughs> oh, I forgot that the voice of Knuckles was that gym teacher. <laughs> Hmm, damn time. Yeah. Man, I'm never gonna get this thing to work. My turn. Ben 10 wasn't Fusion Fall, right? My but it was like his alien force design. What do you mean? But like, because I think because I forgot if Ben 10 was a character in Fusion Fall. Like Ben 10 was a character in Fusion Fall, but it used his alien force design. Yeah, because I think you were able to get like a forearms of or a heat blast uh, yeah. nano. I thought that you were asking if he was a Fusion Fall original character, and like, no. Oh. <laughs> I, I was like, I have to turn in my Cartoon Network card if I if I implied yeah. that. Hey, salty! This is the first stream I've the been only, able like, to catch. Uh, Got into your content I don't think there was the truly like a Cartoon Network original character. I know that they made like the since. Dexter's computer Hope into like a, a hot robot chick or right. something. Yeah, yeah. Pog champ, pog champ. Thanks, Mudkip Lover Forty Seven. I'm I'm glad I'm glad that uh, that you have you have gotten into me over quarantine. Uh, it's I've been told it's the best time to get into <laughs> into my stupid bullshit. Salty DK Dan is perfect cabin fever fodder. <laughs> wait, does Richard Horvitz voice Grey Matter? Does he? Wait, can you wait? Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up. Hello, Professor. Uh, Grey Matter Ben 10 voice actors. Oh, now we're getting into the longer ones. I remember this bumper. Yeah, it's R Richard Horvitz plays Grey Matter. Who would have thunk? My car. And now he is out of cheese. Crackers. I'll need some two When you see the white boys. He's in the car. That is serious. Well, I... Is there a problem, Professor? Oh, hello, number one. I seem to have locked myself out of my car. And now he is out of cheese. <gasps> Crackers! I'll be some two by four. I'll be right back. Bring more cheese! Hey, it's no problem. I'll just call my auto club. <laughs> How many geniuses does it take to unlock a car door? <laughs> I like the idea of the professor and Dexter being enemies. Let the professor be enemies with a little child. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Did you try the door? <laughs> Silly me. Uh, thanks, Mandy. Whatever. I also like that they all know each other by name. <laughs> yeah. Makes you think, in this universe, are they still just actors in their own shows, or does- Oh, this is the one! This is the gay one! Hmm. Gay? Hold on. Oh, there it is! <laughs> Laundry day. day. <laughs> Mm. Yep. You seem to like black shirts quite a lot. And it looks like you like it in pink. Oh, I'm just saying. Oops. <sighs> Sorry about that. It's crazy how this short spawned so much <laughs> gay stuff. That single short. Yeah, because they oh never did. It wasn't, it wasn't like the Velma Johnny thing where they made multiple shorts about it. Like, they. <laughs> there was just this one.
and it's gone to the point that Phil Lamar and uh, Jeff Bennett like have like made videos talking yeah. about them being to those two being together. Oh, here's my favorite. Nice ride. Uh, thanks. What do you think of my van? I call it my mystery machine. It's pretty cool, huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Customizer myself. Good old Steve Bloom and the dad from works, Wizards huh? of Waverly Place. <laughs> You're my kind of guy. Hey, what do you got there? Uh, V8? V8000. It's a dick like measuring a contest. Monster truck? <laughs> monster truck? <laughs> Just like the dad from You're Wizards of Waverly Place. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hey, guys. Groovy ride. Want a lift? Hey. Okay, dude. Let's well, this is so well game. animated. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool seeing Megas in like 3D. It feels like Megas was always supposed to be in 3D. First the way that it's animated line. here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're feeling pretty silly Imagine right if now. imagine if CN City lasted longer and we saw Symbionic Titan in this fucking it's universe. With lollipops. What yeah. Do think of next? Oh, that would have been so Thank cool. There, I, I am fascinated by watching these over again is how little music is in so many of these. Like, a lot of it's just ambient sound. Yeah. Why do you need that? Marvin the Martian lives here. Megas XLR deserved better. Oh no. Jimmy entered Silent Hill. <laughs> he left CN City and entered Raccoon City. You shouldn't have killed your wife, Jimmy. This is what happens when you scam the Eds. Where is everybody? Hello? This was really fun. It's Eddie's turn now. Hello? <laughs> One more time, can I say hello? Why are they doing this to him? <laughs> They're playing hide and seek. Oh, I, I thought they were just, like, fucking with him. <laughs> the day the entire city decided they hated Jimmy. Is the mayor of entirely CN City? Because I don't know. If the, I don't know if the citizens of Cartoon Network would vote for the mayor all in unison. I honestly don't know if there's enough adult characters in this cartoon world to even vote. Surely nobody cares if I park it here. Oh no! I just built my house in Minecraft. Why? Oh, this one's great. Then go in. My friends told me to meet him here, but the previews are starting. So? They won't know I'm here. We'll tell them. You sure? Yeah. We're just waiting for a, uh... Windfall? A bus. I thought we were. Oh. Thanks. Follow me. <laughs> Your tickets? Oh, we don't need tickets. We're Max Imaginary friends. You're imaginary? Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I can see you. Well, you must have a great imagination. But I, I thought imaginary friends look crazy and freaky and, uh... Oh, go ahead. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> Did they show you their tickets? They're imaginary. They don't need tickets. 
Were you born yesterday? I don't know. I forget that the voice of Plankton was also a, oh, Ed's boy, Edward's voice in Camp Laszlo. Weird to hear him voice in something that's not a Nickelodeon show. Hmm. I think he felt it. What did this button do? Kill the elderly. <laughs> Billy commits eugenics. I feel like that's not the proper word for that. What, the people that don't cross the street are the ones that live. The people no, that eugenics. Do die. Uh, what, what is it when you kill old people? Uh, nature. <laughs> no, there's a word. <laughs> Euthanasia, there we go. No, that's just when you kill someone on their own terms. It's what? normally old people, right, though? What is the definition of killing old people? <laughs> Euthanasia. <laughs> senior side, apparently. Senior side or, uh... Jerinocide is killing of the elderly. <laughs> and other information you learn at this stream. Oh, like the the Billy and Mandy's teacher is in the subway. I don't think I. This one has ones that like don't usually appear on here. Why is- why is Ed dressed like that? Yeah, I don't know, costume party? He has such tiny arms in that shot, too. Like... Hold on, I'm just... Yeah, look at it. His arms are like, especially... Yeah, right here! Yeah, look how small oh his arms are! <laughs> why do you look like that? Why do it <laughs> rate the fit? <laughs> How can I get this look? <laughs> We need an eggplant and bananas. Eggplant and bananas, eggplant and bananas, eggplant and bananas, eggplant and bananas. <laughs> Me when I'm grocery shopping. What? Uh, what are they doing in there? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is not what it looks like. They're cosplaying. <laughs> I think they're experimenting. One child, please. But, sir, that's oh look! Ed just has a part-time job. Oh, that's why he's dressed like that, because it's for his part-time job. Oh my god. <laughs> that's actually funny, I love that. What you doing? Do you oh, really this one. Know? Not really. Then let me tell you. I'm taking advantage of all of the things this place has to offer. Uh, like I robots and twinks. Are they just a robots and twinks? Well, you could get that at Cartoon too. If monsters need ice packs or nerds want a beaker, if your guitar is broken or it's time for new squeakers, if you need a good book or your kids are a stinker, you can find. But where do I go if I want an afro? My silly friend Blue, here's what you should do. Just get on down to go. I wish this one was in high def, because I'd love to, to, to see all the characters that are in these shots. Where's that again? Because it pans out too fast for me to actually see like the ones who are like spinning the umbrellas and stuff. Mm-hmm. Because I'm pretty sure Robin is one of them, and that makes me laugh. <laughs> Those are some great bumpers. God. But yeah, I just... It's, like... Because Cartoon Network, like, has, has had so many 
different programs after this era? Because this only existed for, if you don't count the, the powerhouse era beforehand. Like, was that Sand all City of them? Was, yeah, that was pretty much all of them. Wow. Um, I'm sure there's probably like other ones that are like just more establishing shot things. And maybe there's some lost ones, you know, because these were just commercials, but like, yeah, I was going to say, there's probably a bunch of lost ones. There's, there's a lot of Cartoon Network lost media. What's the, I mean, it says something that this block only lasted like two years. And I know that when most people think of Cartoon Network, this is what they mentally associate with Cartoon Network. Yeah. I think, I know that they never do it, but they really should play like some of these on Boomerang or something. I I I would I mean I would love that. I know a lot of people asked if we could uh, watch the Groobies. Oh God! Which I, I mean I'm down for. I I don't know if I can tonight. I'm a little bit wasted already, but I'd be down to do another stream specifically for those. Just like Boomerang, I think Boomerang bumpers in general. I think, to me at least, are a lot more ingrained in my memory. Like, I, CN City is very nostalgic for me. Uh, and I would say that the boomerang bumpers are also nostalgic, which they are to an extent. But I also just find them annoying because boomerang had the same group of bumpers that they never added to. For like 12 years. <laughs> for like 12 years. It was the same bumpers every single time. And, it, and I mean, like, it, it did come with the whole thing of, like, the exchange was they had all that because the channel... Boomerang was essentially, like, people would do would run Boomerang on top of their normal work for Cartoon Network because they're, cause Boomerang made no ad money because until, like, 2016 Yeah, they didn't or have any ads. Yeah, they didn't have ads until, like, 2016 or 17 when they started, like the new uh branding but here, uh, here's my problem with that though is that they didn't have ads but they still had like space for the ads so they would fill it up with these bumpers however they didn't have enough bumpers to where like there was enough variety so you would sometimes like i would be sometimes watching and i would get the same three bumpers in the span of two hours like, that's insane. Me and my friends get no respect. Oh my god, my brain is, like, melting. Got a, <laughs> got a gorilla for sale. Magilla gorilla for sale. For sale. Uh, it's fucking, mine it's, is, it's mine was always the, uh, the, the, the circles one, where it was like, I don't need to walk around in circles. Yeah, I, my favorite, my favorite stuff from Boomerang is... When it would be like late at night and they would start airing like the more superhero oriented cartoons and like like uh, oh, yeah. stuff like, like that. Justice yeah, stuff. Justice League and stuff, because then they'd also have those really cool and short bumpers where it was just like a bunch of action figures with like a bunch of really cool lights. And I thought that was sick. I, 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 I want to just show this this really nice piece of art we got on stream sure. that uh, someone made. Tra -la, uh, la 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 The only reason I know about the banana splits is because of the freaking bumpers that they would air about it on, on Boomerang. <laughs> like, literally shoot me in the head. What do you think of that, Eustace? Yeah, what do you think of that, Eustace? Still stroking it? Yeah, you're still stroking that. Uh, I really like this. <laughs> we're little, we're little Hanna-Barbera men. Oh, wait, uh, me. But, but yeah, I, I, I linked it to you. Oh my god, I, this is cursed. <laughs> Hold on, I need to show this. Why do I have such a big dumpy is my question. Don't, don't ask questions that you aren't ready to hear the answers to. I mean, I already had people in your chat asking for my feet, so this is already just a <laughs> continuous downward screen. spiral. <laughs> me and my friends get no respect. What does Scooby do that we neglect? But no, I oh, would love to do. I would love to do another stream to with you to watch like the Groovies or like. Uh, do you remember the Scooby Doo project that Blair Witch parody that they made? Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, Where yeah, they yeah. Fucking we, we die at the end. We need to watch those. Those are really good. Yeah, so may maybe not like this week, but like sometime soon, we should also yeah. we should do that. That would be fun. 
Yeah, but you you do have a dumpy in this in this. I think it's like a Yogi Bear type thing, but I, I do. It also kind of looks like I'm flipping someone off off screen. I'm just gonna imagine it's Gerber. Just <laughs> <laughs> I, I look oh. like I'm stoned out of my mind, which is giving you off boo boo like energy. Great. You look like you ha are having just a, a great time, but <laughs> the edibles have just kicked in. I think it's the fact that you have black hair in this. You look like a completely different person. <laughs> I don't know who you look like, but you look like a... F <laughs> you have, like, Danny Phantom hair. He's Danny Phantom. Oh, oh you know, no. that's just how oh, it no. is. <laughs> Someone... Hold on, I'll send this to you. Someone sent this in my meme server. Uh... But this was really fun. We've been meaning to do another stream together. It's been a lot, a while. Yeah, it has been a while. I think it's like the this is the first time you and I ourselves have streamed together. Like, not yeah, just just related. me and the the Chris Meister. Hell yeah! But this was this was a lot of uh, fun. I, I I had a I had a great time. Me and, too. Uh, I can't wait to put some of these highlights in my uh in my video. Agreed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope there was enough epic uh, cat death for you to make a highlight video of this and get that sick revenue. I don't know if there was, but I just had chill times regardless. It was very fun. Oh, hell yeah. That's that's the important part. Can we get Chrissy's Twitch link? Chrissy's actually not streaming on Twitch. Chrissy's streaming on YouTube. Uh, can you send me your, your link, uh, yeah. Chrissy? Raid me. <laughs> <laughs> Raid me by just getting people to click the link. M Mr. Bezos isn't going to be so happy about this one. Raid me on Twitch. I'll <laughs> oh, you're giving me your Twitch thing. I thought you were going to give me your YouTube. Oh, well, you someone asked for my Twitch. I... <laughs> okay, Here's also do you, my YouTube. <laughs> do you even still use your, your Twitch? Oh, yeah. I actually have been Twitch on Twitch very often. Anytime that I'm doing a non-scheduled, like, stream. Because uh, I stream on YouTube twice a week, but... I've been streaming on Twitch fairly often. I'm usually playing like uh like Fortnite or uh TF2, but I've also You've but I'm also like going to be using Twitch to stream um uh fitness streams. I'm going to be starting a whole thing where I teach people how to like exercise and stuff. You've been getting like super into Fortnite recently. I'm like, level 87 super. on Fortnite. <laughs> that is insane. I it, it's a it's my it's my decompression game. It's like Elden Ring for you. Oh, speaking of, I gotta get back on the Elden Ring streams. I need to beat that game. People say I can't beat it. I'm gonna beat it. I I believe in you. I'm absolutely but, poggers. It's been a while since I played it though, so I might be like off my game a bit. Hey Derek, you know what I want to do now? What? I want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> what if I just ended that with saying I want yeah, to leave, wanna leave. <laughs> no, <laughs> and the stream I, ends I want to I wanna leave uh, turn off the YouTube stream and then open up Twitch and, and stream Fortnite <laughs> uh, you do that I'm taking a break Probably well no gonna... I'm not asking you to join in I want no, you to I, I know you're not I, I'm I, saying I what I'm doing I have squeezed you dry <laughs> yeah I'm probably going to take a quick break and then just like vibe out on Discord and like uh, do some busy work. But yeah, thank you guys for joining the YouTube stream. It was a great time. Yeah, uh, I'll, be, I'll be streaming tomorrow with uh, Lauren and Max oh, yeah. for three idiots. So oh, yeah, uh, if, if you subscribe to if you subscribe to my YouTube, uh, yeah. you should you should Here, stick I'll... around for tomorrow. I'll uh, I'll paste your YouTube too if people want to sub to you on YouTube. Here you yes, go, everybody. I, yes. But till then, everyone, thank you. I can't believe we streamed for three hours. I, I did not realize we did that. So I didn't even realize you, it was three hours. We were just vibing. Yeah. Thank you, Derek. This was really fun. I can't wait to do the next installment of this Cartoon Network madness. Hell yeah. Thanks for having me on. No problem. See you later, everyone. See you, everybody.